we should use the configurable mechanical action of a boolean control to create front panels that resemble the behavior of physical instruments such as oscilloscopes and multimeters. Switch and latch actions are similar in that they both change the value of the boolean control. The actions differ in how the value of the control reverts to the previous value. Use a switch action when we want only the user to revert the value of the control back to the previous value. Use a latch action when we want the VI reading the control to revert the value of the control back to the previous value. The user can also return the value of the control to the previous value but only if the user does so before the VI reads the control. Latch action cannot be used with local variables. And latch actions used with event structures typically have their terminals placed inside the value change event frame. Right click a boolean control and select the behavior from the options in the mechanical action menu. Switch when pressed. You can use switch when pressed as a control that changes the current value as soon as we click the control. And retains the new value until you click the control again. Example is light switch. The light turns on as soon as we switch the control and stays in that state until we switch the control again.
switch when released we should use switch when released as a control that changes the current value when we release the mouse button not when pressing I have pressed the button and the LED is off if I release it the LED turns on and retains the new value until you click the control again so clicking again the example is like a checkbox The checkbox changes its value only after we release the mouse button which gives us the ability to reconsider our choice after clicking by moving the cursor away from the checkbox before releasing the mouse button. So if I take the mouse and click it, I have clicked it and I, if I take it out and then release it, the checkbox does not work. It works only if I click and then release on the checkbox. Switch until released. We should use switch until released as a control that only changes the current value when we click and hold the mouse button down and reverts to the previous value when we release the mouse button. So if I take the mouse over the switch until released and press the mouse down the LED is on. When I release it, the mouse button, the LED turns off and the switch reverts back uh, to its original position. So example is like a doorbell. The bell rings as soon as we press the button and continues to ring until we release the button. So a latch uh, when uh, pressed, we should use as a control that changes the current value as soon as we click the control and reverts to the previous value after the VI reads the control. So if I press it, the LED turns on and f then off back and the value is red. If I click again, only on pressing does the value of LED changes and the this counter increases. Uh, example is of emergency stop button. The button stops the system as soon as we press the button but resets as soon as the system reads the change in value allow allowing for the button to be pressed again. Next we have latch when released. So uh, we can use uh, the latch when released as a control that changes the current value when we release the mouse button and reverts to the previous value after the VI reads the control. So if I press the mouse button nothing is happening. So if I release it, then the LED blinks uh, momentarily and the value of the counter changes. On pressing, nothing happens, but on releasing the mouse, the LED turns on and the counter increments. Example is like a close button. The button close 
closes the program only after you release the mouse button and the application reads the change in value which gives us the ability to reconsider our choice after clicking by moving the cursor away from the button before releasing the mouse button so if i take the mouse over this close button and press the mouse i have pressed the press the mouse the vi has not closed if i release it it will close but if I move the mouse away and then release, the VI does not close. And the last mechanical action is latch until released. So as soon as I click and hold, the LED is on and the counter is incrementing continuously. Now if I release the button now, LED turns off and the counter uh, is not incrementing. So we should use uh, latch until released as a control that only changes the current value when we click and hold the mouse button down. Once we release the mouse button, the value will revert to the previous value after the VI reads the control. The example is a robot movement control. The movement control informs the system of the robot to move the robot while the control is pressed down. Once the control is released and the system of the robot has read the control, the robot goes back to its previous state of non-movement. So on a FPGA target, if we have installed FPGA module, then switch when pressed. switch when released and switch until released These three we should use as controls that change the current value once a new value is written from the host VI to the FPGA target and retains the new value until another value is written from the host VI again. We should use
latch when pressed latch when released which is the default mechanical action and latch until released as control mechanical actions that only changes the current value when a new value is returned from the host VI to the FPGA target and reverts to the previous value once the new value has been read by the FPGA target.